Week of Easter 5, Tuesday Consecrated by God to consecrate ourselves. Consecrate yourselves, therefore, and be holy, for I am the Lord your God, and you shall keep my statutes and perform them. I am the Lord who consecrates you. Leviticus 20, verses 7 and 8. Dear Redeemed, In Leviticus the Son of God declared through Moses that the consecrated people of God are called to consecrate themselves. What does this mean? At all times Christians are to set themselves apart for that which is holy, and to set forth the courses of their bodies and souls to avoid all that is profane and unholy. How is this done? This is done through the means that God gives. For the Old Testament believer, he consecrated himself by means of the God-given rites in which the Lord shared his perfection and holiness with his people. For you and me, as the New Testament Israel, we consecrate ourselves through the means of the God-given gifts by proclamation of the gospel, baptism, absolution, holy communion. Consecrate means to sanctify or to set apart for a holy use. In the Lord's Supper, the bread and the wine are consecrated by means of and according to Christ's word. The sanctuary is a consecrated place. In Christ and by the working of the Holy Spirit, people are consecrated, sanctified, set apart as holy. Christians are saints. Throughout their lives on this earth, Christians are sinners. It is a real possibility to fall from the faith. Once saved, always saved, is a false doctrine that is to be strenuously rejected. Remember, it was to his disciples that Jesus said, If your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Matthew 5, verses 29 and 30. Jesus is not suggesting that someone poke his right eye out with a sharp stick or hack off his right arm with a sword. This outward physical action would not take care of the sin problem that resides deep within any more than amputation of a physical foot would cure a deadly leukemia. What needs to take place is far, far more radical and severe than that. The precious eye of each man's natural soul and the powerful hand of his wretched heart need to be cut off. In effect, man must get rid of the cause of sin, as well as any evil longings and lust. What's needed is a crucifixion. What was needed has been provided by the Son of God, crucified and risen for you. What is needed by you is given to you. You and I have been baptized into the death of Christ, and we know that our old self was crucified with Christ, so that the sinful body might be destroyed, and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. Romans 6.6 6. Christians have been crucified with Christ, and have been consecrated. If you are a Christian, then you have been sanctified. It is no longer you who lives, but Christ who lives inside you, and the life you now live in the flesh, you live by faith in the Son of God, who loved you and gave himself for you. Galatians 2.20 Thus, you consecrate yourself in the gospel, and, in faithful response, you live your life by avoiding the profane, denying the flesh, sacrificing as needed, and immersing yourself in the gospel, remaining faithful unto death, and being finally given the crown of life. Prayer Almighty God, before whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse our hearts from sinful thoughts, that we, whom you have consecrated in Christ by our baptism, may consecrate ourselves as you would have us do. Keep us from worldly pleasures, and grant us the willingness, desire, courage, and ability to remove from us all that hinders from doing your will and walking in your ways. Amen. Hymn number 355, stanzas 1, 2, and 5. Take my life and let it be 
consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee. Take my will and make it thine. It shall be no longer mine. Take my heart, it is thine own. It shall be thy royal throne. <laughs> 